When should you consider taking anxiety medication? In this video, I'll tell you seven situations where it may be appropriate for you to consider anxiety medication. By the way, welcome to lesson one of the anxiety medication course. This is the series where I simplify the information around prescription anxiety drugs so that you can feel more informed and make a good decision about your medication with the help of your doctor. Quick disclaimer, I am not a medical doctor. I'm just a person who used to have severe anxiety, and now I want to share everything I've learned that helped me get to where I am today. So without further ado, let's get started. For many people, medication is a positive turning point on the path to anxiety relief. Medication alone doesn't always work. The real power comes from combining medication with the natural methods I teach on this channel. With every type of medication, there are pros and cons, and as we get deeper into the course, I'll detail the specific pros and cons of each type of anxiety medication. In this video, we'll focus on seven situations where it may be appropriate to use anxiety medication. So let's start with situation number one. You have panic attacks that are so frequent, they impede on your ability to work and earn a living. It's even more important to consider anxiety medication if you've been having these symptoms for about two or three weeks and they have not improved. So if you're like calling in sick to work even though you're not really sick, like you feel so terrible that you can't get out of bed even though you don't have a virus like the flu or, or a cold or anything, this would be a good time to consider asking your doctor about anxiety medication. Your doctor would probably recommend an SSRI such as Zoloft or Lexapro. This is the situation I was in about a year ago, and what I did is I took Lexapro for three months, and while I was taking it, I learned how to manage my anxiety and my panic attacks with cognitive behavioral therapy, meditation, and breathing exercises. The Lexapro helped me get through the worst of the anxiety, and while I was taking it, I worked on my self-talk and I worked on my breathing every day, and after three months, I just didn't feel like I needed it anymore and I stopped taking it. Situation number two, agoraphobia. This is the intense fear of leaving your house and interacting with the world. The way to overcome this without medication is with gradual exposure. On the first day, just go out for 30 seconds, check the mail, go back inside. On the second day, stay outside for three minutes and just build up from there. But if you've tried this for some time and you've not gotten very far, you may benefit in the short term from a benzodiazepine like Xanax or Valium. These are considered tranquilizers, so they make you feel a little more tranquil temporarily, and they can help you get through the early stages of exposure therapy. Situation number three, acute anxiety in response to a crisis situation. Basically, this is when there's something going on in your life that is particularly stressful, such as a job interview, death of a close relative, or some major life event. In this situation, you may benefit from a benzo like Xanax or Valium uh, on a short-term basis. I did this last year for my wedding. I just started taking the Lexapro and I was doing therapy, and I was really nervous that I was going to have a panic attack and faint at my wedding. I had fainted from a panic attack a couple months before, and I was just really nervous that it might happen at the wedding. So I asked my doctor if there's anything that could help me just for the day of the wedding, and he prescribed me a benzo called clonazepam. Um, he gave me two pills. One was for the day before the wedding to find out what it feels like to be on it. Then the second one was for the actual day of the wedding. And honestly, it really helped. It ended up being a great day. Situation number four, severe depression accompanying an anxiety disorder. If in addition to anxiety, you have suicidal thoughts, no appetite, and you've lost interest in simple pleasures, you'll probably benefit from an SSRI. If it's milder depression, then there's some natural supplements like St. John's wort that may help you feel more balanced. There will be a video later in this course that's all about natural supplements for anxiety. But if you've got severe depression accompanying the anxiety disorder, you may get a lot of benefit out of an SSRI. Situation number five, severe performance anxiety. If public speaking or test taking gives you such severe anxiety that it greatly hinders your performance, you may benefit from taking a beta blocker or a benzo 
on occasion while you learn how to deal with performance anxiety in a more natural way. Situation number six, social phobia. If you avoid a wide range of social situations and you're unable to attend important meetings at work, you may be helped by an SSRI antidepressant like Zoloft or Lexapro. It'll help quiet your mind and lessen the intensity of the social anxiety. But the important thing is that while you're taking it, you need to make an effort to overcome the social phobia. A great way to do this is with group cognitive behavioral therapy. Your doctor can probably refer you to a therapist who specializes in that particularly. And then situation number seven, obsessive compulsive disorder. Those with OCD often benefit from the use of an antidepressant combined with some form of cognitive therapy. So those are the seven situations when it may be appropriate to consider anxiety medication. The most important thing I want to say is don't let this video make the decision for you. This is a decision that should be made in consultation with your doctor. In the next lesson, we'll discuss the most commonly prescribed anxiety medication, SSRI antidepressants. And if you're interested in a more natural method to overcoming anxiety, I wrote a book called Breathing Secrets. It'll teach you the six secrets to conquer anxiety, doing the one thing you do naturally, which is breathing. And just for watching this video, I'll give you the book for free. You can download it at my website, breathingsecretsbook.com. The link is down below. Thanks so much for watching. Go download Breathing Secrets. It's totally free. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.